Hey there, welcome to Gander Flight, I'm Joshua. Today I want to talk to you about dinnerware, specifically for the RV. When you ask an RVer, what kind of plates should I have? Oftentimes the answer is going to be tempered glass, in the way of the name brand Corel. However, IKEA sells a tempered glass for a fourth of the price. Let's do some testing and figure out what the difference is and if the Corel is really worth four times as much. Alright, so at the time of this filming, Corel plates you can buy for about $3.54 a piece. The IKEA plates are 79 cents a piece. This Corel measures 10 and a quarter inches, whereas the IKEA is 9 and 3 fourths. So the IKEA is slightly smaller in diameter. All right, let's see how much they weigh. I put a measuring cup on there so I can raise it up to see the numbers on the scale. And the Corel's coming in at 12.38 ounces. Now let's switch that out for the IKEA plate. Back to zero. IKEA's coming in at 12.42 ounces. Let's compare this, the thickness of these plates. The IKEA ones are coming in at 2.7 millimeters. The Corel plates are 2.9 millimeters. So let's talk a bit more about the subjective, how, how they look and feel. The Corel plate is smooth, tempered glass, front and back. The IKEA plate is smooth glass on the front, slightly textured on the back. It's got a bit more of a rougher finish on the back of the plate than it does on the front. So it, it feels smooth on the front, a little bit more textured on the back, whereas the Corel plate is smooth all over the place. The edge of the IKEA plate is straight, whereas on the Corel, there's a slight lip at the very end. The IKEA plates are made in China, the Corel plates are made in the USA. So for all intents and purposes, they're identical plates. Similar style, same color, approximate size and weight are nearly the same. Price is definitely different. Let's scratch these and then let's break them and see if one holds up better than the other. All right, let's do some scratch testing. I've got some stainless steel chain mail here that we use on some pots and pans. The sharp edges of the caliper. I'm gonna go ahead and scratch each one for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds with the chain mail on each of the plates and 30 seconds with the calipers. Okay, there's 30 seconds on the chain mail for the crow. Let's do the calipers. We'll give the IKEA a try. And the calipers. All right, just wash these with soap and water. What can I see? I can definitely see scratches from the chain mail on the Corel. It, it left a bunch of scratches and some discoloration. If I look hard enough, I can kind of see where the calipers were scratching the Corel, although it's not as apparent. On the IKEA, I cannot see scratches from the chain mail at all. And from the calipers, I can start to see two little spots where the scratches are showing up. All right, the first test we're gonna do is countertop height off onto the RV floor. IKEA's up first. Do IKEA again. Three times with the IKEA, no issues. Let's try with the Corel. Three tests each, off the counter, onto the RV floor. Both of them are still fine. Let's take these outside, see if concrete, gravel, or dirt will make any difference. All right, IKEA first. Not Corel. So based on the performance in the RV and on the concrete slab, I'm thinking that dropping it onto the dirt or the grass isn't gonna break them. So we're gonna see how high we have to go before they break. Let's start at 60, so five feet off the ground. Will the IKEA break the dirt? Nope, not at 60. Not at 80 inches. Pretty impressive. Let's try the Corel. 60 inches. And at 80.
built the Crow and the Ikea held up to 80 inches off the ground over dirt. All right, we got the Ikea first on gravel, 60 inches. Ikea on gravel at 80 inches. At 60 inches, Corel. 80 inches, Corel. All right, so I found some different gravel. Let's see if we get consistent results. Again, we're gonna start with the Ikea at 60 inches. And the Corel at 60 inches. The corral at 80 inches. So let's talk about what we did. We scratched him with the chain mail and it showed up pretty darn well on the, the corral. It scratched pretty easily. Couldn't really see it on the IKEA. Both of them showed minor scratches with the sharp object from the calipers. Dropping them within the RV from countertop height, both of them did fine, did not break. Dropping them from picnic table height over a concrete slab, both of them broke, which would be expected. And then with gravel, we had a toss up. Corel broke at 80 inches on one type of gravel. The Ikea broke at 60 inches on the other type of gravel. Most likely because they hit a different rock at a different position and you know, over gravel is something that you're going to encounter in an RV spot or while boondocking, but you can't repeat the process and really test to see on a specific thing of gravel how exactly they're gonna perform. So ultimately, does the Corel perform four times better than the IKEA OF test plate? I'll let you be the judge of that. So let's talk about some other things considering these plates. The IKEA ones, they're only found at IKEA. Corel, however, it's ubiquitous. You can find it at a ton of places. The other thing is the IKEA ones, only come in white. The Corel, you can get colors and designs to your heart's content. All depends on what you want to pay for. So let's talk about some alternatives to the enameled glass plates. Stainless steel would be a really good option. You could also go with the blue enameled metal plates. However, one thing to point out with the blue enamel plates is once they get scratched, the metal underneath starts to rust and you start to get rusty plates. And ultimately, some people are looking for more home-like plates to use in their RV, especially if they're full timing. So if you found this video helpful, trying to decide between Ikea and Corel plates, go ahead and show me some appreciation down below. Leave me a comment, which one would you choose? If you're into RVing and DIY things, make sure to check out our free groups. I'll put a link in the description box below. Until next time, I'm Joshua. You've been watching Gander Flight. Take care and pay it forward.